Hello everybody and welcome back to episode uh, 6 of Kerbal Space Program modded Let's Play series with me. So we have our Kerbal satellite network, the basics of it anyway, up and running and today I want to start looking at space plane stuff. Now my space plane stuff before hasn't really gone too well aka crashed my things. So we've done a lot more aerodynamic stuff now so I'm quite happy to build a new plane and get rid of the stupid and well it's gonna be unstable to what I build but should be more stable than the one we had before so always start with co cockpit and then power usually is the way forward So a couple of batteries. And then we're looking at science. We're starting to get towards some of this universal storage stuff here now. So um, I am looking for the hexacore so I can fit six bays on. Now this makes it pretty ugly because the hexacore is bigger. I mean, I probably would have been better off with the quad core, but I wanted extra materials bay. Uh, science juniors just so I could do a few from different biomes so you just rotate it like this because all the universal storage units clip into the sides like that but they all face the same direction so it's just a case of rotating the actual core itself so that's the thermometer and pressure meter and magnetometer and now I'm just adding the four science bays Okay, so that's that part of science. Now, I've got other experiments that I haven't got in universal storage yet. And as a lot of these missions are landed, I probably need to add a seismometer. Or accelerometer, whatever you want. Seismic accelerometer. Okay, that goes on the cockpit. And then the bathymetry thing doesn't really count. And there isn't much else I can really add at the moment because the bathymetry thing is just for when you splash down. I'm not really too bothered about that at the moment. So, next. So, I think in fuel tanks. So, this is going to be bigger and I'm going to aim to go a bit longer. So, I think I'm going to add four of these. There we go. So, four of them. And now we've got the bigger engines as well, so we can shift more weight, hence why I'm making the plane bigger. So we've got the Weasley turbofan, stick on the back. And then I'm going to add some extra little boost engines around that. Now if you put the smaller fuselages in contact with the existing ones, they all share fuel throughout the whole, the whole plane, you know. It's only if you have the liquid fuselage separate from the main body that they use separate fuel from their own fuel tanks this way it's all piled together so this is just to give me a little boost of power it should give me enough for what I need anyway so that's two of them and two on that that and then the little air intakes on the front But before I add them, oh, there we go. No, I am going to add them now. There we go. So on the smaller plane, we had the huge air intakes, which was just overkill. So we're not doing that this time. But I'm going to add the wings first. These are the delta wings, as per usual. 
these wings are big enough they actually hold fuel themselves as well. It's too steep an angle, so I'm going to go up a bit. And we're going to move it forward a bit so there's room for some decent flaps at the back. There, that's good. Yep. <laughs> okay, so now air intakes, and we're going to use the inline air intakes this time. So I could have one on the bottom, switch to single, one right there, and then one on the top as well. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah. That generally is enough air for just one turbofan engine because the smaller engines are self-sustaining with the air intakes on the front of them. So. So next we're going to add some tail fins, um, no, canards, let's do the canards at the front first, yeah, just so it doesn't block the cockpit, the crew hatch, see that's not blocking, oh, it's only one, right, okay, switch that to two, yeah. just double it up. Okay, now for some aerodynamics. Uh, tail fins. Stick them on top of these small engines here. And on the outside, we'll switch the snap mode. And then onto the edges there. That should be good. Give us a bit of control. Um, make sure these wings are full of fuel as well. Yep. Now, some wheels would be a good idea, I think. Um, let's do the flaps first. Okay. So we kind of want these big lifting flaps. Just going to scan through. I think it's going to have to be these ones. Yeah. So these don't snap very well, so we're going to have to rotate and position them so they work properly. It's delicious. Yeah. And round. No, not like that. So you need to rotate the other way, that way, and then back around like that. Yeah. Yep. That's close. And then round that way. Yep. And now we need to move them up. Just a touch. That's good enough. Okay, and some small bits. Can I fit any other ones other than these teeny ones? Probably not if I remember rightly. Uh, nope, too big. Nope, too big. Yeah. Too big. Too big. Okay, so the smaller ones. Yep, yeah, here. Just on the tips of the wings, just for that added tiny bit of extra boost. So let's rotate them. Move them around uh, like that, and then like that. Oh, I hate it with this up. So I need to change my perspective. Yeah. No. There we go. Okay. So they just need to be moved up a little bit, a little bit, that's it. Awesome, and now the wheels. Actually, thinking about it, communications is a good idea. So I'll have one, back to single mode, one of these for close range. Turn the snap back up. There we go. Just so it's central. Oh god. Just so it's central. And then we need long range comms as well. So I stick one of these on. But I'm gonna have to keep it retracted where we're actually flying. So I'm just gonna tip that back so it looks a bit more aerodynamic. There we go. Alright, okay. Um Yeah. Wheels? Wheels! Uh, 
I need some wheels. Okay, so one on the front and then two on the tips of the wings. Uh, change snap mode. There we go. That's good enough. And then rotate it so it's not crazy. Alright, that's good. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. That's good. It'll do for now until we start getting up to the Mark III and Mark IV plane systems. So we're just going to call this SP-1, Space Plane 1. Okay, let's see if it'll take off. Okay, so about half throttle, just under. I say this would be a good idea. Pick up speed. It's a bit squirmy. Oh, one thing I forgot to add was a reaction wheel. Might have helped. Okay. Well, staying on the runway. Uh, and up. Yep. Okay, let's go. So we're now full throttle. Retract the wheels. Okay, so what we're going to do first? I think we're going to hit this. Island airfield from the abnormally group of contracts. It's just over there on the right. Waypoint manager is the lovely thing. Love it. Alright, so we need to get over to the right a bit. Okay, straighten up. It's still a bit janky on the handling, but it's definitely better than the other plane. Okay, I'm kind of realizing we need to be over to the right of it and then turn into it so we got a decent landing. Yeah, and we're also quite high. This could be a problem. We're going to come in too high, I think. But we'll just revert it if we have to. Oh, these space plane missions. People say that these space plane missions are um, a waste of time and everything, but you know, I just. On career mode, you really need to grind out as many contracts as you can for the science and the money because it's just the amount you need later on, especially with my aim of uh, putting bases on as many planets as moons as possible um, you're just going to need so much money and so much science to unlock everything <coughs> so I'm just going to pin these landing gear control panels like that okay we're coming into position now so we need to turn to the left let's go now Turn, turn, and we are way too high for this. We need to be coming way down. Turn, come on. Just need to turn a little bit more. Okay, that's a bit too much, probably. Alright, now I really need to drop down. So I've killed the engines. I'm gonna. Extend the gear, that'll slow us down even more. Some air brakes would have been handy here. <clears throat> and now we're drifting over to the right a little bit. It's not good. Oh. 
coming in okay. Yeah, I probably didn't need to do that, so now straighten up again. Yeah, and now we're not very controlled here. We need to bank to the left of it. Get down, we need to get down. Uh, down! I'm trying to kill the speed at the same time. And having to drop this heart from this high is going to be problematic. Keep the speed killed. Down. Still at a thousand ish meters. Brake action group is engaged, so as soon as we touch down, the brakes engage. Shouldn't need barely any runway. This. So, this is a random airfield on a random island just away from the KSC. Yeah, we're coming in too hot, and now we're drifting over the top of the actual airfield itself. This is not going to work out. I'm going to try and land it, but it's not going to happen. No! Kill that speed. Drop down. Oh, nose tip too far. Yeah. Bam. Oh, right. Going to have to try that again. Just came in from way too high. We got way too high before we got there. I'm usually pretty good with these space plane missions, I just haven't run any for a long time. Um, yeah, back to the control tower. Okay, let's do this again. SAS would be good, yep. <clears throat> I'll have to try and keep it a bit lower this time. Okay, we definitely got enough speed, so we're just going to use this hill and up. Nice. Alright, keep nose down because we don't want to be too high this time. So, retract the wheelers. Just going to pin these now rather than later. Okay. Right, so let's get over to the right. Prefer not to crash into the sea. Mm, well that's too. Yeah, that's uh, probably. Yeah, that should be alright. Right, down, down, down. Okay, we're nice and low. We're we'll headed off to the right of the airfield. This is not a bad start. Uh, X science. Gonna have to look at it in a second. Just switch that over. Every time you restart the game, it just starts showing every single science experiment available where you're at. And you have to reset it to ones that are currently available. Apologies again for the quality of these videos. Um, these are all pre recorded, and I'm doing post commentary up to episode 11. And then I can get back to uh, doing live commentary and all those good things. So I fixed X Science, that's good. I'm gonna do a materials bay. Just open that up. Keep it. Shut them doors. Okay, now I'm trying to straighten up a bit. I came a bit too far to the right. Here we go. So is that close? Not really. Gotta remember the target <coughs> on the map is the control tower. So I'm at about half the height I was at before now. So this should work a bit better. So we're back down to below half throttle. I'm just trying to get close and I'm gonna extend the gears now to start killing my speed. And we are actually descending now. Now I've gotta be careful here because the I the airfield on the island is a little bit raised up from sea level. So I need to come a bit more right to line up with the runway. Okay, killing the engine, we're on 25% throttle. 
No, 33% throttle. No, 25, 33. I don't know, 33, I would like to say. So straighten up. Don't want to get too high. Nose down. Nose down. Come on. What are you doing? Right. There we go. So we're coming in now. Yep, already. We're still coming in at the wrong angle, but we're going to let it fly across a bit and then straighten up at the end. We're down below 100 meters a second airspeed now, which is good. Now left. Come on, straighten up. Time to straighten up. Go, go, go. That's right, you need to go that way a bit. And then straighten up a bit. And try not to hit the tower. Oh, it's all getting a little bit squirmy. But I figure if I can land in front of the tower, I can just coast up to it. Here we go. So put them all to the left and then straighten it up. And now I need to pull up. Good airspeed this time. Not have to come down so harsh. Need to straighten up the wings. There we go. Left a bit. And this should be fine. Let's keep that nose up. Keep that nose up. Bam! And we got it. And we landed. Excellent. So just coasting up to the control tower now. So we can turn the brakes off and just let it roll around. And it says you have to climb to the top of the control tower, but as soon as you EVA here, it just does both straight away. So, EVA. Never forget those that gave their lives to get us where we are. So, we're thinking about previous Kerbals who attempted space programs. So that's excellent. Got both of them complete. And I guess now we attempt to take off from here and fly to our next mission. So I'm just looking at which ones are closest. That one looks about right. And this is the one we crashed at before and then where we stopped and started to put up the network. So we need to get to the end of a runway. We could start. So the brakes are off. I just need to give myself a bit of throttle. Um, it'd be a good idea if I got back in the plane as well. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, I've barely touched any of the fuel. So we're landed here at this island so we could do another material study. Keep that. Toggle the bay doors. And that leaves us with two more material space. Okay, we're just going to coast to the end of the run this end of the runway and then take off the other. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. The target's in the other direction, so we're going to take off from this end of the runway. Just trying to keep my airspeed down. Okay. So, I mean, this runway, even though it looks rough as hell, is actually smoother than my own runway back at home. It's ironic. Okay, I'm just coming up to the end of the runway. Okay, brakes on. Spin it round. Okay, so. I 
There's my target and the missions I'm going to do. I think we're good. There's no more science to do here. And it's not a massive distance away this one. <clears throat> okay, full throttle. Spin it round. SAS is on. And any kind of upslope should get us off, basically, or any drop off. So here's hoping. Just gonna come off the edge of this. Oh, uh, and we should be okay from there. All right, a bit squirmy, but we got up. So let's put the gears back away again. And you can see on the map the icon on the uh, nav ball. We're heading in roughly the right direction, but we just need to make a little adjustment. And you can see it on the actual screen now as well. It's below the horizon at the moment, but we're just going to get off into the general right direction. We can have a bit of height now because we've got to travel a fair distance. So, Okay, we're heading in roughly the right direction. It's going to gain a bit of height here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Alright, once I've gained a bit of height, I'm probably. I do fast travel, so you can go at four times speed. And when you're flying in roughly the right direction and you're pretty safe height, you could just smash it out. Normally I'd speed up the episodes here, but and replay the video, do the video replay, uh, accelerated speed as well as the acceleration in game. But um, this isn't too long a journey, and I think I'm gonna wrap up just before we come into land. So we're at a reasonable height now. It's all good. We're just cruising along. So here we go with time acceleration. And what that does, it dips your nose a bit at the start. But then as your speed increases, you slowly pulls your nose back up. So you keep dipping in and just changing your attitude a little bit in between. So we're flying a lot four times speed now. Like calling for EVA reports here, but as I only have the pilot on board, I'm really not into doing EVA reports until we can uh, have a second passenger, whether it's a scientist or whatever. But I really don't want to EVA the pilot. So as you can see, we're still under local uh, control here from the smaller antenna that we got. You see I just dipped my nose a bit there because we're getting quite high and put time accelerator back on and it'll slowly pick the nose back up again but we're just dropping I don't want really 5,000 ish meters you know 8,000 is the max I want to do in this plane really it can't beyond that it just slows down too much because it's too high in the atmosphere and it's, the airflow is not as good So I'm just doing a quick attitude adjustment and a bit direction adjustment. One thing I notice is time acceleration does extenuate the dips, whether it be slightly left or right. So here we go, probably going to time accelerate again here in a second. Yep. That's pretty much perfectly the right direction. So to accelerate. So let's see if we can actually put it down at something other than an airfield, which would be nice for the first time. You 
can see it's tipping over to the left now. But I'm just trying to get there. <laughs> and we can just start to see the landmass on the horizon of where we're going to be landing. Straightening up a bit. Uh, and time accelerates again. Bit premature, we couldn't see the landmass before. It should be just peeking over the horizon any second. Here we go. Okay, so we're approaching the target now. <clears throat> so this is more tundra y type biome. up a bit again. <coughs> we are at about seven and a half thousand meters now which is really high. So you can see I dip my nose down. We're gonna cruise in. And I think yeah we're just gonna pin this for the moment just so it's ready to go. So we're coming down now, bringing our altitude down nice and steadily. We're only at half throttle now. I'm going to try and put this down gently. I think I got my eye in a bit again from the last landing, so it should be okay. But I think I'm going to wrap it up here, it's at the 30 minute mark for the episode, so I think this is where I kind of just resigned to wrapping it up and going over to the next episode to see if I can actually land the thing. So we're approaching, approaching, we're back down at 4000 meters which isn't too bad. And there we go. So that's why I wrap it up. Thank you all very much for watching. And we will try and complete this contract next time. Goodbye.